It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? Today's character breakdown is Ness, another mother character. This one hailing from Earthbound. Fortunately, this one did come out in the US. Sorry, Lucas. Some fun facts about Ness. He's the only mother protagonist that doesn't have a natural run ability. Ness was originally planned to be replaced by Lucas in Melee, and there's an unlockable Ness costume in Super Mario Maker that can be unlocked by completing the 100 Mario Challenge or by scanning a Ness amiibo. What's up, YouTube? I'm Choctopus, back with another character breakdown. Last week, we covered Lucas, and this week, at your request, a lot of you actually, we're going to break down Ness. I played a lot of Ness in previous games, and he's a ton of fun to use. He's completely different from Lucas. Very good, just different. I know they may seem like similar characters uh, to newer players, but they are night and day. Trust me. I know they share a couple moves, but they are different characters. Now, remember, this is a weekly series, so if there's any characters you want to see specifically, let me know who it is in the comments section below, because you have the power. Okay, that was cringy. Let's get into the breakdown. Okay, so neutral attack. Similar to Lucas holding down the attack button, will give you this repetitive jab. Lucas has the kick, but you tap it three times, he'll do the three hit combo. If you get in, you hold down the attack button, he's gonna do the same thing. So you don't have to necessarily tap it, but you can if you want to. I, does it happen quicker? I think it's quicker if you tap it. It's, it seems like it's slightly quicker, but it's pretty good to rack up some quick damage. You know, it's gonna deal nine if you hit all three of them. But let's talk about Ness's dash attack, which unlike Lucas does not have a sweet spot. So his dash attack hits multiple times. So if you get in closer, what is it, like three attacks? I can't count. Yeah, about like two or three attacks, it's gonna deal 12 damage. So if you start further out, you know, you might miss that first attack. So unlike Lucas, where you want to use his dash attack early to hit the sweet spot to deal more damage, Ness, you wanna get all up in Kirby's pinkness, and I, I know that sounds weird, but we're saying it anyway, to make sure you're dealing maximum damage. Okay, so Ness's smash attacks are actually more intricate than they seem at a first glance. So you have his forward smash, which is his signature baseball bat that is going to kill pretty low. So if we get to Kirby here, now remember this also has a sweet spot, kind of like Lucas's forward smash. So it's going to deal more damage if you hit with the tip of the bat than if you are right up on top of him. So at 70, I think it will kill. So it deals like almost 30 damage uncharged. So let's see, we'll hit him with the tip. Yeah, it's gonna deal like 26 damage, so you can get a kill on lighter characters at lower percentages, but if you're all the way up on Kirby, you might have to charge it a little bit to get that, that KO, but you see right there, if I just flick my C-Stick right on top of Kirby, I'm not going to pick up the kill at 70. You can also use it to knock back projectiles. I don't know if it knocks back everything, but it knocks back a bunch. Okay, so Ness's down smash and up smash are really good, and we're gonna talk about them because they're good in a couple different situations. So Ness's down smash, which is his yo-yo, hits on both sides, which is really nice, and it also has some pretty good range. So it hits here, does about 13%, it hits back here, 13%, but the interesting thing to talk about is you can use it for edge guarding because it will hang over the ledge. So if someone is looking to recover, let's see, can we do it to uh, can we do it to Kirby right now? He'll probably float over me, but oh, we have to be facing backwards. But if you hold it down there, it will deal some damage. So if they're going to grab the ledge, use your down smash because you can catch them as they're going, let go, and it will KO them. I should probably note that you have to be facing backwards in order for it to work. If you're facing forwards, it's just going to charge in the back and come out straight. So if you do want to use it for ledge guarding, you have to face the opposite way so it hangs over. Ness's up smash is his overhead yo-yo, which is really good because it covers all around him. It starts in the front, swings all the way around to the back, and it's good for any characters that are overhead that, you know, you need to worry about doing down airs on you or, you know, coming down with some pretty fierce attacks. But use it to protect yourself when you have a character overhead. You can even use it to KO at pretty low damages. So let's see, Kirby's at... Can it kill at 90? It's close. I mean, I don't know if it can kill that low, but if you get a character up to, let's say, I don't know, maybe 110 it might kill. So let's bring Kirby up to 110. And let's see. So it looks like at 110 it'll kill, but that might only be for lighter characters. So experiment and go into training with, you know, different characters to see who it would kill. Um, I think heavy characters, it might take a little more, but overall Ness has some really good smash attacks that should not be overlooked. 
you know, you have complete back-to-front coverage here, you have overhead coverage here, and you also have this really good ledge guard with the down smash, so take advantage of that. Okay, so let's start with PK Fire, because I feel like that's going to be probably the most used special move next to PK Thunder, and honestly, PK Fire, unlike Lucas's, will catch your enemy in a column of flames, whereas Lucas, his knocks back. Also, if you do a short hop or a jump and you throw your side B out, it's going to angle downward, so you can you can really mess with your enemies and zone them and you know do some short hops into it. But once you catch them in that column of flames, that's going to set you up for a lot of things because you're gonna get a couple hits and some damage on your enemy, but it's going to combo really well into a down throw. And I feel like that's going to be a pretty big bread and butter with Ness. Down throw, you can follow up with forward air, and we'll talk about that more, but PK Fire is good for zoning, it's good for setting up combos, so use it a lot. Okay, next up we have Ness's PK Thunder, which is his up B. Now, I feel like some people may only see this for its uh, recovery property, but you can actually pick up kills at pretty low percentages if you're close enough, so if we're all up on Kirby right now, uh, this is going to require some practice. See, look, I can't even do it right now. But if you can land it, look, I can pick up a kill around 40%, which is crazy. So... I don't recommend using that if you're not good with it because it leaves you open, but with some practice, you know, you can get really good. You want to aim it right over his head to uh, to come through, and then you want to work on the circle, but aside from that, the PK Thunder itself is really good for harassing your opponents, you know, all over the map, mostly when they're in the air because it's really hard to dodge because of the duration, not to mention that once you use an air dodge to try and dodge it, you know, I can always loop back with it, but... It's really annoying, and after you use an air dodge, you're kind of immobile in the air. I mean, you can, look, I can pick up a kill if you harass long enough, but it's also really good for head games. So if you have your opponent off the map, you know, you can get them to use air dodges, or you can get them to use jumps or recoveries, just by throwing it around and kind of playing around with it out there. And of course you have it for recovery, um, but if you're looking to recover with Ness, practice with his PK Thunder. Um, I think he's pretty good in the air, like, he could jump really high, so that plus an air dodge, you know, in any direction, you know, if you need to make a horizontal recovery, you know, you can, you can get there with a couple jumps and, uh, and an air dodge, so, if you're not that great with his PK Thunder, at least not yet, I mean, definitely practice with it, because it's a good recovery if you can hit it, um, obviously, angles are everything here, just like Lucas, because you hit a millimeter off and you're gonna fall to your death, but don't discount using his air dodge because he has some pretty good distance in any direction with it. Not to mention, like I said, he's pretty good in the air, he's pretty light, he's floaty. I mean, he's not Lucas, so he doesn't have that tether recovery, so he's not as lucky, but I think he makes up for it in other ways. Okay, next up we have his side magnet, which is his down B, which similar to Lucas can absorb energy-based projectiles and small explosions, you could heal from that, but some other good things that I feel like are worth mentioning is it has a knockback and it does some damage. So if you do hit someone with it, it's going to deal almost 5% and it has a knockback where I think uh, Lucas has a pull in. I can't remember even though I did the video last week. I cannot remember for the life of me. But also if you're in the air, it'll slow you down. So if you get knocked out here and you're looking to stop yourself, you know, you can do that. Then you can try and recover afterwards. So... Use it to, uh, to slow yourself down in the air. You can use it for, um, for some mind games. You know, it comes out really fast. So you can almost spam it in some cases, but don't leave yourself open. Okay, last we have his neutral B, which is PK Flash. It's also a strong attack. Um, I think it's best for trying to play some mind games off the stage. I don't know if it's something you're really going to use on the stage because I feel like Ness's kit is just way better than, than spamming these. Don't get me wrong, it's a strong attack. And I think it will kill pretty low, so let's bring Kirby to 70. I think it might kill here, fully charged, so let's see. If we can hit it. So yeah, it will. I mean, it's good, but I feel like it's only best when you're trying to play some mind games and chase your opponent off the stage. I think Lucas has the better neutral B, because I think the PK Freeze has a better hitbox. And also, it knocks horizontal, so if you do catch them with it, you know, even if it's decently far away, you can pick up that kill off screen. But I think this one's a little tougher to hit. Definitely use it, it's good. You know, mix it up, use this, use your up B to, uh, to do some harassing and some mind games, but it's, it's not his best attack. Okay, let's talk about Ness's tilts next. 
And honestly, I think his tilts might be the weakest part of his kit. I mean, I think his air attacks, smash attacks, and basically everything else are, are better. So tilts kind of fall to the to the bottom for me personally. But his down tilt is good for quick poke. You know, you can uh, you can spam it. It only does like five percent damage, but look how fast that comes out. So you can you can rack up some pretty fast damage if you can trap them. His forward tilt has some decent knockback with this kick. Um, and then you have his up tilt, which is this, I think it hits on both sides, this, this knock up, which at lower damages, you can actually chain and start some air combos there. So that's pretty nice, but, you know, sprinkle them into some, uh, into some regular combos to deal some more damage. But like I said, I think with Ness, a majority of the attacks you're going to be using are air. They're going to be his special attacks and they're going to be smashes. We have a lot to cover for Ness's air game because Ness is really good in the air. He's basically Air Jordan. Um, we're gonna start with his Nair though, which is this uh, the spin attack. It comes out really fast, has almost no frames. You can short hop, you can uh, fast fall out of it, but I think some things that are worth mentioning are that if you short hop, you can get two of them in before you hit the ground. So if you wanna play some mind games with your opponent and you think they're going to shield when you go for the Nair, you know, just do it again, because you might get them at the end of their shield and be able to go into a combo, so it's really good for creating pressure. Okay, Ness's forward air is amazing for a couple of reasons. The first being that it's a multi-hit attack. So if you land it, you're hitting, what, like three times, I think? And it's dealing, what, maybe 10 damage? So yeah, 10% damage. Also, it's very, very comboable, especially out of a down throw. A down throw into forward air is what you're going to be using the most, honestly. So if you catch your opponent in a, in a PK fire, down throw, forward air, I think that's Ness's biggest combo. Also, you can do a second forward air um, from a down throw. So down throw, forward air, then you can hit your opponent again with another forward air because Ness has really good air mobility, so you can kind of bounce back and forth to create some pressure. Even in his neutral game, you can use it uh, because it has really good priority, and his forward air is going to hit over most of your enemy's air attacks. But like I said, his best combo, or one of his best combos, is going to be side B, PK fire, down throw right into his, his forward air, then you can follow up with something else. You wanna follow up with a second forward air, you wanna follow up with a nair, you know, basically anything. Once they're off the stage, then you can start to create the pressure with your uh, your your PK Thunder, your PK Flash, or whatever you want to use. You have his up air, which is this overhead attack, another multi-hit. Covers some pretty good area over Ness. Um, it's good for juggling, but if you're playing against an opponent that you need some space from, it might be better to use his up B. But if you know you can get some, some damage in, you don't have to really worry. Like Kirby, I would definitely not try this with because... He would just down beam me to death. Ness's back air is this uh, two-legged kick. It's also really good, good for uh, chasing your opponents off the stage. You can pick up some good kills with it. I think his forward air is definitely better. Um, it, it comes out quicker, you know, it has longer duration, but this is pretty good. And I think, let's bring Kirby up to, I don't know, 100. I think it might kill here, it's pretty strong. So bring him to the edge. Yeah, so around 100, you know, it'll kill. We'll kill lower, let's go to 90. But this is probably for lighter characters over heavies, so I would say, yeah, around 100, you can pick up a kill with Ness's back air. Ready? And... Yeah, it seems to be like around 100 for lighter characters. You have Ness's down air, which is a spike. Uh, you can short hop into it, which is nice. to deal some damage overhead, but also, when you get off the stage, you know, you can use it to spike as well. But overall, Ness's air game, like I said, is really good. But the two attacks you're going to be using most are Nair and Fair, or neutral air and forward air if you're not familiar with the terminology. But let's not discount his other air attacks because they are good. Like I said, his up air is good for a juggle. If you can get close to the character, it's a multi-hit. Um, you know, around decently high damages, his back air will kill. And then you have a spike, which is always nice to have in a kit. Okay, last up, we're gonna cover Ness's grabs and throws. So let's bring Kirby back down to a flat zero. And you have his down throw. You have his forward throw, you have his up throw, and then you have his back throw. I honestly think all of Ness's throws are really good, especially the down throw, because at lower damages, you're going to be mostly using that to set up combos. You can do your PK fire, down throw, fair, you know, double fair, you can do fair into nair, you can do a bunch of different things. Um, 
you have his forward throw, which I think is really good for throwing someone off the map. You know, you can run up and you can catch someone pretty quick and throw them off. And then from there, you can either decide to chase or you can send out some PK Thunders or PK Flash or whatever you want. His up throw is good for beginning a chain of, uh, of PK Thunder juggles or... You know, if you can get closer to the enemy, you can start using his up air attacks. And then you have his back throw, which is personally my favorite, and I think probably his strongest throw. So let's bring Kirby up to 100. And I think this will kill him. He's a lighter character, but Ness is really strong. You know, he'll be able to, to throw you off the map and into the blast zone. Yeah, look, 100. So it's, it's really strong. All of his throws are good, but the two most used are his down throw for starting combos you have his back throw for securing kills but also use his forward throw for getting your opponent off the map and then using some of Ness's strengths there like his his up B and his air attacks and then use his use his up throw just to uh you know to start this chain so that's it for Ness's breakdown now we covered both mother characters so if you haven't seen Lucas's breakdown I'll leave that in the description below as well go check that one out but if you're a newer player don't be intimidated by playing Ness. He's a lot of fun to use. I know his recovery is, you know, it, it's a little tough because you have to practice, you have to angle, but he's very rewarding. He's a lot of fun to play. And if you're a veteran player, I hope you picked up some new tips from this or, or learned something new. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because I do a lot of Smash and uh, Nintendo content. But like I said, let me know in the comment section below what character you guys want to see next. It's completely dependent on you. I don't pick. I leave it to the comment section. So if you want to follow me on social media, if you have any questions, you can tweet at me. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I stream on Twitch. I have a Discord channel if you want to come hang out. But that's it. Go forth. Play some Ness. Hit some people with your baseball bat. And we will see you in the next video. Later.